So, like I said, it says to start off with a finishing up that part. I'm just starting to draw with the direct pen tool. Builds this part up. Makes that shape so you can fill it with a color. Bless you. And then you can copy it, Command C. Bless you again there. And Command B just puts it behind it. So that's showing it behind it. So just kind of paste it in there again. There it is, copied, placed behind it. You can use the direct selection to just move these points up. And then you can option and drag this across and go into the appearance panel. You want to modify these colors. And I'll give you the I'll give you that section to it. Duplicating it, they're just using the duplicate, so here's the section that allows you to then um, go into the object and expand appearance so it takes everything and breaks it apart here. And then you can combine it and it'll make it one object if you want to use that for the shadow. So here's the pathfinder. You can simplify it as well. Let's go to the pathfinder either through here or on this side too. So here's your options. Here's the pathfinder. Let's see if I can unite it. So now it becomes one, one page. You can give it a gradient to be the shadow. And like I said, an illustrator makes it a little bit, uh, you know, for the crisp graphic. But again, it's a little easier to build up onto that. 